Hi everybody, welcome to Daisy, and welcome to my video about um, Justin and Don's trader mod for PC, PlayStation and Xbox. You've probably seen um, Don's video about this and you may well have been to the um, Facebook XML group as well. Um, so I can take no credit for this. This is all down to Justin and Don who have done this amazing work. And what I'm going to show you in this video is I, I've put together some GitHub um, repositories that have ready to go XML. So I had a, quite a few people contact me and say, um, could I do something with the files to make it a little bit easier to use? So you could just kind of upload them. Um, and so I've, I've, I've spent a few hours today sort of doing that. Um, and there's files for uh, vanilla Chernus, vanilla Livonia, and also I've added the trader building um, to my uh, hunting farming stealth 112 files as well and remember if you're watching this after the fact these files really are just for 112 because the disadvantage of making ready to go xml files is that you need to update them for the next update to include um, new balance changes and new items that bohemian interactive put into the game so we're in um we're in novi sabor um kind of just here and although I'm doing this on on PC, this this works on uh, PlayStation and Xbox as well. So so we're just kind of there, and let's let's go and have a look around. Now, the method I've used for this is Don's method. Um, so uh, with Justin's method, what it would do is it would make the items that you see in this shop exclusive to the shop. Um, which is good for like role player servers and things things like that. But maybe for quite a few servers that you know don't have role play people who could who who could do that sort of thing. All these these kind of place markers that have got the stuff in them, the, these are just spawn points for these particular items. So you know it's just as if they're spawning on the ground, but they're not. They're all spawning in order. So it kind of looks like this wonderful shot, and it's absolutely amazing um, what the guys have done. And also. If you look at like my weapons here, you see they've got scopes on and mags on and silencers. That's because in my um, hunting farming stealth XMLs, uh, I changed the spawnable type so that guns would spawn with silencers on where where possible. Um, look at this. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. This isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. Amazing work from Justin and Don. Really, really cool. I like this little touch as well. If you go down down behind here. Um, if I can remember how to crouch on computer, yeah, you can probably see it there. The um, the landmine and the grenades—they're they're behind the counter. <laughs> so it's really cool. Now I have added one thing, and what I've added is this beauty out out here, because you may well have seen my trader truck video when I said it's okay having a, a shop. You know, it's brilliant and everything, but maybe a trader would be more likely to be on the move. You know, around visiting different. Uh, different uh, colonies of survivors and staying ahead of the bandits. So what I thought I'd do is I would park a trader truck outside. So if we have a quick look in the back of here, what you'll find is there is uh, in the back there's four wooden crates for doing like drop boxes for people, and then you've got all this wonderful you know, trader stuff. So you've got like um, bulletproof vests, night vision goggles. There's the dragon of the uh, SVAL, there's a M4, there's a LA, there's all the bits to go with them, there's lots of silences, lots of cool stuff, you know, building stuff, things that you could, so you could go driving as well, so you've got, you've got your trader shop, and you've got your trader um, truck, so as I say, it's in Novi Sabor on Chernerus, and if we come out of here, um, let's go to here, and there, so that's, that's Novi Sabor there, right in the middle of the map and then the uh, Livonia one is in Nadbor so Nadbor it's quite far south but there's not that many shops in Livonia so that, that's where it is in Nadbor and again there's the shop and then there's a there's a truck um, parked outside okay so how do you do it well what you want to do is you want to go to my github repositories and I'll put a link in the description down below and as I say, there's there's a link to three kind of three kind of files. There's uh, Daisy one one two Chernus Trader Shop and Truck XML files, Daisy one one two Livonia Trader Store and Truck files. So those two are pretty much vanilla. So let's go and have a look at the the Chernus one. 
So if you, if you click on here, what you'll find here is these are all the files you need, all filled in, all ready to go. You want to read the readme.txt because that you know warns you a little bit about the files and also um, t tells you how to do stuff. And again, I've got links to um, Justin's Facebook group. So you know if you don't know Don Sibley by now, you know, where have you been? But that's Don Sibley's YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description down below. And I'll, do a disc I'll do, put a link to his video on how to do this as well because he does some other cool stuff where he puts a, a trader on top of a building and then there's the daisy um free xml support group at facebook so i'll put links um to that as well so back to uh, these so basically all you have to do to install these on a, and this is a vanilla server because these are vanilla files well obviously they've been added but th th there's nothing different about them apart from putting in the, the trader and the truck all you do is you click on this green button here and you download the zip to your local computer when you've downloaded it unpack it and then you want to go over to your um, nitrado or whichever service you're doing go into the web interface and you want to uh, go into the file browser go into the missions folder now if you're on PC you'll have to dig down a little bit further to get into the missions folder and then Chernus obviously is Chernus, Enoch is Livonia you go into that then all the files that you download you simply upload them over the top of the existing ones so if we have a look um, here we go here we are traders thought so CFG economy course, CFG event spawn, CFG limited limits definitions, and map group pos and map group proto all go in the kind of the main directory here. They all go on top of that. Okay, they just go on top of it, and so and you do that by clicking on upload file like that, and you you can upload a few files at once like this, and then hit upload. And then you go into the DB folder or the DB directory, and into the, you click upload, and then you would upload the color spawnable types, the extra types, uh, the trader truck event, and the trader truck spawnable types, and you would say open, and that would upload those. And then you simply restart your server, and that is it. Um, the shop will start to populate with stuff the truck should appear um, and, and, and it's as easy as that um, and then if we go to the Livonia one again the Livonia one it's all it is is I've just adjusted it for Livonia so that things like the um, the event spawns are correct um, for Livonia and there's a few other things that are a little bit different so if you if you click on code download the zip unpack the zip go to your Livonia server on Nitrado or whoever you're using um, and then upload the files over the top of the existing ones and then you'll see in the readme I do t I do explain I say look um, to install these files simply upload them over the top of existing files and restart your server please note that the trader truck spawnable types the trader truck event extra types and color spawnable types should be uploaded to your DB folder okay now the uh, the one that you may well be interested in the most perhaps um, is if we go into the repositories is this one Daisy one one two Cherner's Trader Store Huck Trader Store and Truck Hunting Farming Stealth XML files. So what you're getting with these XMLs and they're all ready to go. You just need to upload them. Is you're getting um, Don and Justin's Trader Store at Novi Sabor. Um, you're getting the truck, trader truck parked outside, but you're also getting all the extra stuff that I've done for, for, for 112. So if we go into the README, you can, whoop, we can look at it like this. Uh, where's README? Let's click on that. So what you also get in this one is you get items spawning in pristine, which is night events, more animals, trucks with building stuff, cars with um, survival stuff in them, olgas with fishing rods, gunters with blazes, sarkas with building stuff, 
uh, Rusty Aders with the M4, Rusty Olgers with the VSS, Rusty Gunters with the Asphel, Rusty Sarkers with the Dragonov, more bears, more wolf packs, more helicopter crashes, more dynamic loot event weapons, more duct tape, more sharpening stones, more axes, coloured axes, more of the new Scout or the Pioneer Police Rifle, more Sagers, um, Magazines should spawn basically full of ammo. Um, weapons should spawn in with magazines and with silencers and with scopes if they've got them. Um, there's a little bit more food. There's more military bags, more night vision goggles, and there's some surprises as well. So that's quite a interesting XML to upload. It kind of gives you a modded server straight away and without having to worry about anything else. And again, with these, you just upload those files um, over the top of your existing XMLs on your server and then restart it. Just make sure they go in the right place. Um, and then over time, it will then respawn in the stuff and replace the stuff that's over there. Now, if, if you want it to work instantly, you've got to do a wipe, a uh, fresh install, but you know you, you don't need to. It just just as long as you're willing to wait around for things to change, you can, you can do it like that. So there we go. Fantastic uh, for... Um, for Justin Pitcher and Don, you know, have uh, the uh, Daisy Free XML support group, and there's Don's YouTube as well. Really, really cool stuff. Um, I mean, it's just, it's just amazing, isn't it? It's just such a cool experience to walk in and see all this stuff laid out beautifully. The amount of time that's gone into this is uh, absolutely, absolutely fantastic. So there we go. Thanks to uh, the, Justin and uh, Don for putting all that hard work in. Hopefully you find these files useful. Um, if you do, hit the like button. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.